well, here we are at Prevost Harbor, up on the flybridge, taking a look at everything. Quite a few boats in this little area. I apologize for the sun reflecting off the water, but it sure is a nice place to have dinner and hang out for the evening. I'll show you a little bit more later. Well, we got up. It's around 8 o'clock. Been up for a couple of hours. Here's the the Prevost Harbor. And these are all the people that spent the night here. Uh, some of them are still sleeping, I think. Because <laughs> it's been pretty quiet. I started up my generator at about 6.30 quarter to seven <clears throat> made coffee and made sure well there's our transportation and here's the gangway up to this is the area that we're going to this this is the campsite yeah well this is this is the campsite that takes you off of the harbor, Prevost Harbor, and there's our boat way over there. And this is our entry up to the park through this dock, and uh, so we're going to head on up this way. Well, this is the trail that uh, is heading up to the schoolhouse and the Turnpoint Lighthouse at Prevost Harbor. So uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is a nice steep climb. If you look behind us, it's uh, downhill pretty good. <clears throat> Receiving an open mic on channel one six, Coast Guard City Puget Sound, open mic channel one six. That's our radio. People said that this trail is pretty steep and then it levels out. And that'll be good. But this is on my kind of my bucket list that I just made up this morning. <laughs> I will show you some more. Okay, we're coming to a little fork in the road where we turn to the right. But before I do, I want to walk out onto this point. This is a real nice, real nice view of the harbor just south of Prevost Harbor. And I can't remember the name. I think it's Reach? No. Rich Harbor? Something like that. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful spot. So now we're gonna take the right turn here and keep heading up the trail. It's actually fairly easy walking if you take your time. It's uh, got a lot of nasty toe catchers, if you're not watching. But uh, for the most part, just take your time, move around them slowly, and uh, take, take a breath here and there, and stop when you need to, and it works pretty good. Here's a... Okay, somebody's got an open microphone, we know that. Okay, this is uh, part of the trail. We're heading down this hill, and then I believe we go up over the top of that next ridge, which sa seems like a long way to go, but we're going to see how that works. 
This is an update for Rosie Roger, at Sea uh, Venture. Hang on. I'll copy over. Uh, cruising Sea Venture, Rosie said that if you take one route, it's not too bad. If you take the other route, you've got one big hill you have to go over. Uh, Rosie, we're on the second big hill. <laughs> okay, we're at the top of that last big hill and we're heading over towards the treasure chest and uh, this is uh, this is a treasure chest that's on the on the uh, trail going to it looks like the schoolhouse and the museum at the top of this hill and here's the Here's the, uh, yeah, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, you've survived the hill, water just ahead, it's a no-brainer. This is pretty cool. Um, you conquered the hill, welcome to your family business, or welcome to our family business, the treasure chest of Stewart Island sold on the honor system. Each item is packaged with an IOU and a return envelope or pay where payment may be made online. Uh, we appreciate your patronage and trustworthiness. Water is now behind the chest. Drink is on us. The Benson family. This is pretty cool. Something here this day and age that's actually on the honor system and it still works. Just like Jim Addington told me. Come down and open it up and you have all this stuff. T-shirt, shirts, postcards, hats. Please close the chest when you leave. Well this is pretty cool. Then, then there's a a drawer down here with more stuff. They even have double X, if you can believe that, because I'm a double X guy. And it is just amazing. And there's also some other souvenir type stuff back there. And, of course, the all-important water. So we're going to take a drink of the water and go through this stuff and pick out a few things to support the Benson family. That's all for right now. Well, here's the museum, Stewart Island School and Museum. And uh, here's the schoolhouse. It's still kind of active. It's got a library in there with a bunch of books and stuff. Oh, look at that. There's some of the product that I sold years ago, that chimney right there. And then that's a little dinky place, but a lot of history in there. And then as you pan around and look, there's the more modern building with a lot of other stuff. And of course the restrooms. And there's some people off here to the side, but I don't want to take their picture because government ha might have to relocate them. <laughs> okay. And we're going to go on from here. Yep. Here's some of our forest friends. A big doe and she's got a fawn out in front of her right there is the fawn and here's another one down here coming across can't get it in the picture there it is bunch of people are coming so 
of the deer are going to take off.